This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast, episode 423, live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, video podcaster and all kinds of stuff uh, here in the area. And we got the crew with us, first of all, from Studio C, out there in the Big D, Dormont, PA. <laughs> he is the <laughs> gadget guru of Big Bank International Esquire. He is John Chichilla. I love the big D for Dormont. <laughs> it's my favorite place to be because, especially because coming through Beachview this morning, mm-hmm. I will tell you was <laughs> I heard mayhem. I heard, I heard it was a heck of a my, my twenty-five minute commute turned into about an hour and fifteen minutes, and give or take, and that's via a train. And that's Granted. yeah, that, yes. I, I understand there was a situation at the hill over near the studio here at the top. Um, yeah. with multiple tow trucks and salt trucks. <laughs> so, uh, which I, I'm guessing is something that interrupted you guys this morning. Yes. I heard there was also a school a problem at the school, too. I heard a bunch of your buses got stuck at the top I, of the I hill. I wouldn't be whatnot. surprised. It, was, I, it, it just turns into absolute... I can't believe none of the, nothing woke me up this morning because uh, I had another late Because no one was moving. Because no one was moving? <laughs> no, no, because behind my, behind my house is like a pretty good hill, and it's the one that everybody cuts through. And I hear, uh, I just hear, no, 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 slam. And, and like lots of yelling and, and scraping and, and things like that. Uh, but anyways, such is the Pittsburgh life. Also with us, you heard her chuckling when I uh, gave Dormon its new name. The big D. Katie. Katie, dude, is the Dutters is with us. From Sales. Studio CO. From from big C couch. <laughs> the big C couch. <laughs> uh, the sales and uh, marketing sure director at the Scare House. <laughs> It threw me off my game. Uh, I don't know. I said all the words. I don't care. Uh, they're, 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 they're there. They're there. They're fine. You, you get an idea. How you doing? Good. How are we going? <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're wrapping up for uh, a Christmas scare house, I hey, know, for next week, Christmas. right? Creepy Christmas. Mm-hmm. I watched a... Uh, a <laughs> I watched the creepy Santa just say ho, ho, ho in several different takes for nearly two minutes on YouTube today. Thanks to you guys. I need to tell Scott to make that like an hour long video. Yeah. Because I feel like those YouTube videos where people just. <laughs> yeah. And someone referred to it as, what was it? Uh, audibly satiating. Is that the word? Way... But it was. Is like... that what that is? Yeah. Like, where... Is that the feeling I was getting? I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that was a comment made about it. Sorry, I'm confused. Somebody is, uh, Katie, look to your left. Somebody has a mini keg walking down the street. <laughs> he didn't invite us oh, to the gone. party. He's gone. But I, I saw I, him. I, I for, no, I forgot I had the camera to throw there for everybody ah. else. But anyways, this is the Awesome Cast. Please check us out on awesomecast.com. We got producer Missy out in California. Keeping things straight remotely from Sorgatron Media West. Uh, also hit us up at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, Facebook us. I'm sorry, at me at awesome. What ca- what are we doing? Uh, at awesome cast on the Twitter, <laughs> Facebook us, uh, uh, awesome cast as well, where we do the live stream here. That's the one where we are, uh, of course, doing the, um, the, the the that's where we pay attention to the chat room basically. But we are streaming in other places like Twitch for Sorgatron Media, Periscope for Sorgatron Media, and some some other properties like Mixer, so you can bring us up on your Xbox uh, One, for instance. Um, and, uh, of course you can subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch the video versions on Facebook and YouTube anytime. And we're here live every Tuesday at 7 PM Eastern on all those platforms I mentioned before. Hit us up, hit, hit up our, our streaming partners actually at the rivers edge pgh.com. They carry us every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. That's who you're listening to. If you do join us live and come in early, we uh, throw some of their music on for you guys while we settle in. And also our friends at the405media.com, where they carry us weekdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern. And uh, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. There's new show ideas dropping into the um, chat room right now. New show idea. Missy goes Mystery Science Theory style and complains <laughs> relentlessly. Uh, but you can hit up Missy um, at awesomecastasorgatronmedia.com if you want to be part of the studio audience while we record here on Tuesdays. Or if uh, you're looking to get some great op- advertising options and uh, reach out to our audience. We're going we're gonna to work for some really interesting stuff in the next couple of weeks. Uh, relent- <laughs> complains relentlessly about Sorg on a 30 second Facebook delay. Oh, geez. Uh, also, if you guys are getting by, yeah, this uh, well, good friends over at patreon.com slash awesome gas uh, that are, uh, are uh, <laughs> helping support the show. I'm sorry, the notes are distracting me now because I keep moving. Uh, I got the Coffee Club $5 level, Matt Weller and John Diggy DeGore, and the Fan Show $1 level, uh, Michael Fedor. Uh, if you guys are getting value, helping us keep the lights on here, please help us out at patreon.com slash awesome cast all right let's get into our awesome things of the week guys i can believe that that a singapore it was in singapore i'm 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 guessing she's singaporean uh uh, that a 14 year old girl can fly this was something this Kyrie kyra poe uh this video came across there's there's some some audio there um but uh this is one of those like um, air tunnel kind of situations. I'm trying to describe it for you guys on audio. Um, she hops in there, and, and this is this is done to music. Let me turn it up a little bit, and we can also get Chilla commenting as well. Um, you know, let's see. If she's gonna hop into the thing, and it's like an air dance on this giant tube. You know, one of those kind of air tunnel kind of things, right? It's like where you have the glass. It's like a glass all around you and there's a giant fan at the bottom and it keeps you quasi suspended in midair. Yeah. Hold on, I'm adjusting the audio I'm here. Probably too heavy for that. You're probably too heavy for that. Yeah, again, she's like a she's a fourteen year old Asian girl, Chilla, so it's <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a little different going on there. Uh, Missy actually found a BBC article that goes along with this. Um, this is a video that I found over on uh, uh, Channel News Asia, something I started following after the uh, trip to Bang- uh, Bangkok a few years ago. Uh, and uh, the music is pretty cool, too. I mean, you're kind of digging it over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but no, I thought that was really a really cool uh, uh, performance going on there. Um, this is part of like, well, Windor is the uh, company that that does this this kind of tube situation. Uh, I mean, she's got a helmet and everything, but um, it's it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Kyra Po, uh, you can check it out. Singaporean indoor skydiver uh, wins two golds at the Wind Games 2018. Guys, there are Wind Games, so sounds like an Asia thing. So what? And I and I apologize, I missed it. What makes her the f- fastest i missed i missed that part in the article too maybe it's the maybe uh, it's because she uses the fastest wind speed that could be too but maybe it was 143 miles an hour she was riding winds that were yeah as fast as 143 uh miles per hour um when she flips and whirls around um i this might be another competition she was doing than what we saw no, that's kind of the dance thing. Yeah, because no, because at the top it says "world's fastest flyer." Mm-hmm. Or maybe she was the fastest because she is the youngest. That could be too. I don't know. It's something. Oh, weird. clickbait! Oh, British clickbait! Thank you. <laughs> uh, but no, it was just a video I came across on Facebook, and I thought that was kind of the coolest thing this week. I uh, think you should put one of those in the studio. One of the, uh, yeah, okay. That we can completely fit something. Or like just out here, right? Like right out front, you know, that gets people's attention. We're in the parking lot across the street for the next uh, lucha fiesta. <laughs> we'll just throw you know beast man will jump in it. Um. Anyways, getting on another side. Katie, what's your awesome thing? I don't know, but I just well, I have two things. I just bought some metal straws on Groupon for like, four ninety nine. Like right now? Right now. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Metal straws? Yes. So they're reusable. Like, so they're not the plastic. They, do they have the silicone tips? No, they're just like the regular metal straws. So, and so, they've got like the they come with the the free straw cleaner, which the four ninety nine is worth it for the brushes to clean out the straws. Mm, this is your itself. part to make sure a straw doesn't stick into a turtle's nose or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I try. <laughs> But yes, I just ordered them. They're four ninety nine. You say fifteen dollars. If, if you need, 
if you need more of the cleaners, go to the baby aisle in Target mm-hmm. because it's this, those cleaners are the same things you use to like clean baby bottles and nipples and stuff. Nifty. There you go. Hot tip. Hot tip. <laughs> Hot tip. All right. What was your What was your actual other thing? It's my planner. <laughs> it's planner season. It's planner it's, season. It's time to buy a new planner for the 2019 year. And you're and you're you're you you're. Oh, son, way... of, son of a bitch! What? I just realized this one only goes through June 2019. That will not do me any good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am full of the disappointment. Like you have planner. no idea. I'm so sad right now. Well, at least you have straws. Yeah, I now have straws. That's now my awesome thing of the week was I got straws and now I have to go return my planner. <laughs> I'm having the worst day ever. Wait, they have like, so they're, they have like half year planners? Well, it's academic. it's academic. So it goes oh. from July 2018 till June 2019. Oh, that's And like, I didn't, helpful. I figured because it was just new out that it would not be like that. But apparently I'm wrong. And because the problem is, is in normal world, you probably can get away with that. But once your busy season starts in the fall, you'll want a whole year planner. So mad, guys! You have no idea. <laughs> you need something. They need something for for haunted house uh, year planners, I right? Know. Like you need the one that that like starts like starts in 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 November, you know, for the post plan, and then um you know ends like the next November. Yeah, something. That's what I need. I don't need. <laughs> Dang it! I'm so mad. <laughs> but then, as looked... you and as you get closer to October, it, it like gives you more like stress relief tips. Yeah. That would be that would be really nice. There I'm go. sure there's probably ones out there. I bet, I bet you could sell a lot at those haunt cons. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Something spooky. Because there's no spooky planners. I mean, I don't know if I'd buy a spooky planner, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Can you can you insert pages into it? Like, could you print off some the rest of the year? It looks like you can like get the other months. You know, I think you can buy refills for this. It looks like, but because yeah, it's the kind way of the, a it's kind of a ringed binder. Yeah, like as a but it's still just. Kind of small book size. Stupid. I'm so mad. <laughs> Gay return policy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, what about you, Chilla? What is your awesome thing of the week? <laughs> so mine, and we've covered this company before, Air Squirrels. Air Squirrels. Um, Ooh, that goes well with Sorgs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? In honor of Cyber Monday and Cyber Week and whatever, Cyber Month, or just buy stuff for yourself, um, they are offering a number of their utilities anywhere between 40 and 60% off. So we've looked at Reflector on this show to allow you to broadcast an iOS or Android device up to any Mac, Windows, whatever type of device, as if it were AirPlay or Chromecast. Um, that Reflector 3 is 40% off. Reflector Teacher, which is... Uh, for more of the academic world allows you, I think, to reflect down to a number of devices. Um, It's 40% off Air Parrot 2, which is what I'm actually probably going to pick up because I already own Reflector 3, but I've wanted Air Parrot 2. Mm. Is 40% off. And what Air Parrot 2 allows you to do is you can mirror and stream audio from a Mac, Windows, Chromebook, et cetera, to any other Chrome cast airplay capable devices. Um, and you can actually stream to multiple devices at the same time. If you're all iOS all the time and you have a bunch of airplay two devices, probably not that big of a deal from a audio perspective. I think this is super cool because it's one of the ones from my understanding, and I'll test this out and let the audience know it's one of the only tools that allows you to take Mac OS and push it to a Miracast endpoint, which a lot of Samsung TVs and a lot of other devices have native capability. And you can get a number of small HDMI dongles for TVs that are just as uh, just a typical Miracast endpoint. Um, so this allows you to kind of really make your your Mac versatile and stream anywhere with minimal effort. Um, the other thing that I thought would be cool when we could try it out at the studio is hook up a bunch of Miracast and uh, old Apple TVs and a bunch to to as many TVs and, and displays as you have, Sorg, and we can pretty much make a wall of awesome cast. Oh, that could be fun. And then their last one is Dropstream. It's 60% off, I think, which puts it at like $4, I think. Um, it allows you to video and audio stream 
Um, to Apple TV and Chromecast, same thing. It's any Chromecast or, or AirPlay endpoint. Um, and you can use these in concert, right? If you had two two laptops with you, one running Reflector and one running Dropstream um, or AirParrot, you could you could push content to and from. But this lets you kind of just take the video, um, like an MP4 file or an MP3 audio, and stream it directly to to a multitude of devices. And it, from what they also say is, you can send different streams to different devices. Hmm. I like it. I like it. I, you know, I I feel like I didn't get too deep into, like I feel like you you usually hear a lot of the same Black Friday deals, like from year to year, and there just wasn't that, you know, like, you know, obviously this is one company that we does this about every year, right? Yeah, I think they do it every year, and I haven't seen them discount as heavily or mm-hmm. as across their entire inventory. Um, then again, I but, do I do remember when they were a giant like, hey, here are all the games that are ninety nine cents today, like kind mm-hmm. of articles, and I don't feel like I see the I see those go around as much any, anymore either. Yeah, and I didn't see as many to me major video game deals mm-hmm. as I do there as were good I ones. Tip, tip, there there were there were good ones, but I don't feel like the volume wasn't there. There were definitely good ones, but yeah, it wasn't in the volume, and. I don't know. I didn't see, I, I was surprised to see, I visited Target on Thanksgiving night and on crazy man Friday morning. Oh, no, it was I'll wonderful. tell you what, the was South it? Hills Target oh, yeah. was empty. That I was a Target too, and it was empty. Really? Oh yeah. Yep. I, I, I was tempted to go in, but I wasn't sure. And I was surprised. I was surprised that Friday afternoon, there were still a bunch of Black Friday doorbuster TVs laying around the frozen food section. <laughs> You got to store them somewhere. Interesting. I, I wondered about like peeking in and kind of seeing what I could find, but um, uh, it's I don't know. I, I I successfully avoided Black Friday, although I did go to the movies on on thir- uh, Thanksgiving night, and that was a really bad idea. They're not great people at the movie theater on a Thanksgiving <laughs> night. So there's that. Um, whew. Uh, anyways, well, you know what's not going to disappoint? Our good friends at Slice on Broadway, right up the street here in Beachview, the OG, the original. Our good buddies up there supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, as well as their other locations in Carnegie, West End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're still there. The Pirates aren't there right now, but they're still there. Go check it out. Uh, our good friends, they, they've been supporting the, our, our show for a good while now, so please support them back if you're in the area. Go check them out. You won't be disappointed. Um, some good, uh, can I say New York style pizza a little bit there. Uh, check them out. They've won all the awards. SliceOnBroadway.com. Let them know the awesome cast sent you as well. So let's get into some of the fan stuff or the, uh, I guess, community uh, um, um, stuff from our um, awesome cast uh, Facebook group. Kind of a slow week, you know, other than like, hey, there's some Black Mad. I haven't seen, you know, too many Black Friday deals in there or anything either. But we, of course, have been, you know, I we play with some Fire TV sticks and stuff over the years and keep an eye on, on those things. But uh, our friend Alex Carr is out there in California says his latest gadget is the Fire TV Cube. He says it'll report further soon, but uh, he likes the simple fact that he can turn his TV on and off without a remote now. Um, I get that. I get that that's like a signal thing that they do, right? Because like the Chromecast will usually kick it on, the uh, Apple TV will kick it on when I cl- click like a button on it, but it, I never get an off button as well. Like Chilla, do you know what's different about these that that you can do that? Wait, which is this? I'm sorry. This is the uh, Fire TV Cube. Oh, I I don't. I, this is one of the ones I'm interested in. I have not seen this in person or got to use it, so I don't know exactly what's different other than. It seems like it's always on, mm-hmm. no matter what you do, because it can it can pretty much take the place of a another, um, like Echo type device, right? And does it does it do you know does it have an internal speaker? So if your stereo's off or your TV's off, it also can. It's time to start reimagining oh, TV. Sorry, sorry, audio. Sorry, I got the audio. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, I, I, I'm not aware of it being like that kind of always on thing. I think it is just, well, it's got the, I guess it's got the echo stuff built into it too. So it's definitely got a speaker system. Yeah, because you can, you can use it to turn 
other devices on and off with your voice. So mm-hmm. I, I think it's like an echo and a fire stick all in one. Mm-hmm. And it's like I said, it is always on. But you know, the higher end like fire TV, like boxes you get, not the sticks necessarily. Sorry, I'm watching, I, the, I'm watching the video now. <laughs> you're watching that. I see it in the background. Um, the fire boxes. Yeah, they have a um, With, they had like a, a, a the D, they have the DVR device that they just released not too long. But no, ago. but even before that, they had just Fire TVs that were like a Roku box. Oh, like uh, where the it could be a remote and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, where it was like an independent box and not just something that was like, uh, you know, the lower profile stick that you could. You yeah, could it, could, it could play some of the higher end video games, and you could hook up a like a controller. To yeah. It. Like a yeah. gaming controller. Well, at least like a, a higher end, because I think it had USBs on it versus like the stick you could only do certain Bluetooth ones. So that's where I got really angry because I got, you You, you have to buy an Android or, or an iOS based one. Like I got one for the for the Apple TV, but it won't work on any of my, any of my Android devices. So And I can't find one that like has a switch on it that lets you switch back and forth. Nope. Very independent. I don't think I feel like licensing licensing keeps them from putting both in, perhaps. So, but, uh, but hey, you know, so so I think it's cool. I'd like to see like one of those in action with the Fire TV and see what uh, uh, Alex does uh, with that over there. As uh, he, I mean, that's that's the coolest thing. Like I can do that here with my Google Home and say, you know, hey, mm-hmm, um, you know, play such and such on YouTube on the TV. And, or, hey, you know, hey, Google, you know, pause TV and things. You know, sometimes I do that when people are like, you know, coming in for the gaming night. I'm, I'm, I have a TV watching something and, and they'll just go, ooh, that's my little impressive thing. Uh, but, <laughs> but no, it, it's good when you like get in that ecosystem, you can actually do that. And it's nice that it's all in one. It's not just like I have a home here and I got Chromecast and hopefully everything drives together and they talk to each other, right? They're like, Chilla, this is my, this is my like kind of window into like the home automation thing is, is Chromecast in like a home right now. Did you see that you can now use, you can launch Google assistant from Siri. I heard about this. Yeah. So you can use the new Apple shortcuts in iOS 12. I to need tell to tell Siri to tell Google <laughs> what you, what you want. It feels you... like, Hey, tell your mom to, uh, <laughs> It's like divorced parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things I want to relive uh, <laughs> via my phone now. I, uh, I, I, I kind of want this, right? I, but I want my watch to be able to do it. And it's just going to tell me, hey, go to your phone to do that, right? So I, don't Shortcuts don't work with the watch? Like it the, doesn't echo the, back to the phone? If the apps are apps on the watch, I think. So. No, but like what I was saying about telling Siri to tell Google, mm-hmm. you can launch Siri from your watch and say tell tell Google to to search for something. Yeah, and like it'll do it on the phone though, won't it? I don't know because the problem is there's no Google Assistant on your watch yet. Mm-hmm. No, I'm yes. guessing we. I'm guessing that's not far off. Guess what we're experimenting with this week? Okay. Uh, there's, miss- your, there's your 99 cent app idea that would just blow up the world. If, yeah, if it get approved into the app store. Yeah. Hey, Missy had a pretty good video that she found on the Facebooks. Um, in, in this case, um, so she says because it's the holidays and people may be looking for something uh, good to give back to the community and spread uh, some of my kind of. Uh, love and kindness uh this facebook post post made her day uh people asked the homeless what they need and they sent it to the homeless uh people via amazon delivery right in the streets super awesome this is from um the daily mail australia uh it seems and uh yeah they were like asking like what do you need socks shoes and and going and taking care of it and they figured out a way say you're on your way to work i gotta figure out this audio thing i'm sorry guys uh (laughs) And uh, yeah, they were setting up, and then like the, they were, the 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 homeless guys were were getting just getting the Amazon guy walking up to them saying, "Hey, we got a package for you." Um, so a pretty cool thing that she shared there. Again, this is uh, UK. Uh, I'm sorry, the Daily Mail Australia uh, talking about this uh, with this video and everything too. We'll have the link, of course, in our show notes if you want to check it out. So pretty cool thing. 
All right. So with that, so I realized I swapped up my ads here. Uh, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Bold Sports Pittsburgh. Uh, they're, 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 of course, uh, if you want the uh, boldest and rawest look at uh, sports in Pittsburgh, check out Bold Sports. They give you all things Steelers, pens, and buckos. You can find out more about them at boldpgh.com. Like I say, it's it's really it's it's a podcast where you know it's like you're sitting at the bar with a couple of yinzers talking some good sports, and uh, it's it's like, it's like your buddies. So grab a beer and uh, listen to our friends boldpgh.com. Hit the button for Bold Pittsburgh Sports, and of course you can also find the Bold uh, Pittsburgh Sports uh, podcast on our Sorgatron Media Master Feed on all your podcast places. Uh, as well so look for it where whatever platform you are on in that feed check out boldpgh.com um we have a few stories here let's see we'll hold on to that one we'll hold on to that one uh what do you guys want to talk about uh, Jilla, what do you want to talk about <laughs> what do i want to talk about yeah um did you see the minecraft story thing on netflix i did not what's going on on netflix so i'm not it's show, topic number eight okay i'm on um it. yeah so um and i heard that netflix was going to be doing a number of shows where it was going to be remember the old books where you would like read a page and you would be able to say if you want timmy to go into the forest go jump to page 19 but if you want him to turn back and go home go to page 23 and it was like one of those choose your own adventure type books yeah remember those this looks yeah. like the, so wait a minute so there there's been a, a minecraft i think it was a minecraft story mode that they had released for like it was a telltale game wasn't it like is this a version of that going on yeah but you're i, I never play i never saw the telltale mm -hmm. thing but it, yes, it's 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 like a choose your own adventure. So I guess in points in the story, you're going to get to decide where to go next. Right. So I, I don't know. I think this is pretty cool because you could watch it almost like a if you ever played old, the old Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars games where you could kind of change the storyline depending on what your decisions throughout the game. I feel like it's kind of it's kind of like that where I could go back and watch this two or three, hopefully at least two or three times. So according and have different stories play out. So according to this, you have to grab the Minecraft Story Mode app. Um, let me let me take a look at this app here. So so I don't get what the Netflix connection is here. You need to, it, it, okay, so as you can according to this article on Engadget, you can check out Minecraft Story Mode on Netflix. On iOS, smart TVs, consoles, da 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 da. Oh, if you'd like to experience it on Android device, however, you'll need to grab the Minecraft Story Mode app. So it is like, and, and that is an app by the Telltale Inc. Um, company, right? So, mm -hmm. so it looks like they are just adapting the games to video, like interactive video, for Netflix. No, was the Telltale game, was it like a choose-your-own-adventure, or was there like some actual like that's, button pressing? and? That's what a lot of the, like some of these do kind of um, boil down to, right, is the is the whole like kind of, uh, um, yeah, like like dis, like discussion tree and stuff like that, mm -hmm. right? Um, but if that's the case, like I, I'm looking at, I was, I was actually looking at maybe grabbing a new Batman one on iOS, um, but I have to figure out what my decisions were so I can pick up where I left off from the Xbox <laughs> game. So it's like, did you choose to save Harley or Catwoman? And I was like, uh, hmm, what did I do? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Did you brutally, did you brutally beat this, uh, this, uh, criminal? Ah, uh, I don't know. What kind of mood was I in? Yeah. You know, so I'm trying to grab my save game from the Xbox and see where, see where all those those uh, big pivot points were. Um, no, this is cool, and I hope I hope there's. I don't see them doing this with like. Well, I guess they kind of could do this with. Um, hold on. So is it on now? I mean, they could do this with any number of type of story types, as long as the person's willing to write a number of mm -hmm. different actions that then lead to different results so this is basically just an adaptation of the game stuff so uh, you know if there's something like 
I don't see them dropping like the original, um, you know, Back to the Future because there is kind of. Oh, so when you load it up, when you load it up uh, in Netflix, I'm looking at my Minecraft and you see the Minecraft story mode and you see a little game icon by it. And final up, final two episodes coming December fifth. So if you kick into this, what is your? Well, I want to see if it has any kind of interface going on here. Um, I don't know. There's a little guy. Oh, she's she's explaining it to me. And there's a pig. There's a boxy pig. Hello, Ruben. <laughs> Hello, Ruben. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. She, expl she explains it. They're talking to me. So, so there's a little bit of an explainer instead of just dropping it into it, probably like the video game does with all the buttons, right? So basically, the screen boxes in, and it gives you like a selector thing. Okay. So th that's that's how they're doing it. I, I'd love to see if they want to adapt some more Telltale stuff, maybe. Um, or maybe this will be a format for them to make new stuff. But I, I don't know anybody doing interactive media like this, like um, like Telltale does to that effect. That'd be cool. It seems like it would be super 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 fun, and I was going to give it a tr Christopher's starting to get into Minecraft. So I was thinking about, he still can't read yet. So I'd have to walk him through like, Hey, what do you want to do here? But I, I just thought it would be, I just find it to be fun. It's a, it's, it would keep me more engaged than the typical, mm -hmm. Hey, play this on Netflix and put my head down and read articles on my iPad. And you're not dropping like 15, 20, 25 bucks to get the season on, mm -hmm. on your platform. So, uh, what do you think, Katie? Are you, is this something you might get into? Nope. Nope. <laughs> could you film? Could you film a choose your own adventure through the scare house? Ooh, that would be fun. Oh, Ooh. actually, technically, you can kind of do that on fa on like on YouTube already Ooh. because you can make buttons like with the an well, not annotations, but is it annotations that you can make like clickable like things and and like what what happens at the end of the video when like you see the videos yeah. and if you click on one of the videos. Like there's like a you, there's a clickable space you make that takes yes. you to the next video, mm -hmm. so you could make multiple videos on YouTube that are all of the choices, and maybe just like make all of them unlisted except for the first one. And as you go, so you you can already do this on YouTube. That's wild. Um, not for long. But yeah, I know the the, the annotations is going away on January fifteenth. But that's I don't think is that the part that's clickable. I guess you could use the, they have the end screens. Right. Yeah, you could you yeah, you could you could do something you could do like a 30 second clip and then mm -hmm. show hey, do you want to go oh. left or right? Or whatever the scene is or whatever. Or right? whatever the scene yeah. is. Oh, absolutely. You could make it where like you click through the different doors. You have to go through and like film all those choices. So this is this It would is, just be yeah, but I mean that it's it's just like a writer having to write all the different pages and all the different choices through uh, through one of the old school choose your own adventure books. Yeah. So Scarehouse choose your own adventure. We're working on that for next season, right, like Katie? It. I'm in. <laughs> in 360, 360 degree video. Oh, oh yeah. God. We could. <laughs> yeah, we could. Well, kind of. I don't know if that button that works on that, but uh, there's got to be other formats you could do that. Now we're just like figuring out how to build things on on the show. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little engineering. A little bit, a little bit of on on the air figuring and engineering going on here. Yes. Hey, I was uh, I was I thought it was kind of cool. Um, you know, I, hey, I'm I'm I because I'm a, it's weird. I'm not a car person, but for some reason I'm a fan of Volvo. Thanks to my work and 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 working with some of those guys over there. Um, but they th this is some practical. Uh, AI car kind of situation here. So in, can we get the country right? No, it doesn't say there. I think it's in like Norway or something. Um, I'll have it in a moment. Uh, but Volvo's self-driving trucks, self-driving trucks are going to help uh, haul livestone from a mine to Volvo's first end-to-end -end automotive automotive transport offering. So basically, I watched the video a little bit earlier. Um, Go, it's a hey, the limestone is getting mined over here. The boat, the refining thing that puts it on the boat, 
is over here. We just need the truck to connect the points, basically, right? Um, so they were working on kind of a test for this, uh, a test run for this in this video. And, and of course, they had a safety driver. But ideally, like, this is something that they can potentially take people out of this process here. Um, you know, some pretty significant trucks there. Uh, this is in, yeah, it is Norway. It's about a, um, a three-mile distance that they need to transport everything. So somebody loads it up, and then um, they take it along. So, again, a realistic thing. Like, it's, it's you know, not, like, something that's going to change, like, a highway or something. Like, it's, it's a fairly fixed point-to-point -point thing, and it, it's, it seems like a pretty um, realistic use of AI um, vehicles in this way. So... Um, are those closed? Are those closed roads where no one else is traveling on them? Or are they going to let the car like yield to passersby? I think for the most part it is because it's in a mining facility, and okay, I, if there is, you know, it'd probably be pretty low impact. It's like it's different to say, hey, there's a protocol, um, and you know, people should only be passing in this manner versus like. Hey, don't hit the kid with the ball running in the street, mm -hmm. which is the problem with like day to day, you know, out in the wild um, AI driving. Right. So, um, Katie, tell me about uh, this. Is, tell me about your Toys for Tots article here. Your A-train friend. Your A-train friend? I don't know. What do we call her now? Your A-friend. Not your A-hole friend. Your A-friend. <laughs> You're talking about the Echo. Yes. You're talking about what Alex can do on his um his Fire TV cube. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. He can, well, so you can donate to a people, owners, can donate a toy to <laughs> a child, uh, to Toys for Tots by just saying, a person, donate to Toys for Tots. You know what? Say it. Alexa, 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 Alexa. She didn't pick it up. Did nope. She? She didn't, nope. She's not nope. listening to you. Nope. So, yeah, you just say that and um, you'll hear a essentially they'll she'll ask you um, she'll present some reasonably priced toy options for you across a, for kids across an range of ages range of ages. And um, once you confirm the order, Amazon will ship the toy directly to Toys for Tots wow. and then you can request tracking and delivery updates uh, like where's my stuff. And essentially, Amazon is matching donations of toys of toys to Toys for Tots up to one hundred thousand um, dollars through December 31st, 2018. So, yeah, you can give back and give toys. That's awesome. Toys for Tots with your little friend A. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, I like this. Um, that's a good way to, to automate these things. You can so. also say, A, I, I want to make I, a donation. I wonder if... Go ahead, Jilla. Sorry. I wonder if them... Because they're donating Mickey, Mini Plush Toys, Nerf Footballs, Monopoly games, and more. I wonder if the Monopoly is the Fortnite edition. Ooh. Yeah. All right, well, speaking of Fortnite, I think you had something to add about Fortnite, don't you? It yeah, it cracked me up. Um, mm -hmm. There was like a whole page on Windows Central about the nine unmissable Fortnite gifts for fans this holiday. <laughs> like the and gifts? G gifts. Yeah. gifts? Gifts. Okay. Gifts. Like things you would purchase for people. <laughs> I found it hilarious that, that items two and three were a brand new Xbox One X, a brand new <laughs> PlayStation 4 Pro. Oh, wait. Like, oh, <laughs> it's it's the best place to play, according to this article. But so these are, but they're, no, they're saying the nine this is the, unmissable Fortnite gifts for people who already like. Wait, 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 wait. Then, then, like the next one is like the PlayStation Pro, right? But then there's a Funko Pop, and then there's the Monopoly version. Then there's yeah, the more gifty like kind of things. The more gifty kind of things. But I, I just found it hysterical that like items that, at the top of the list were brand new video game systems. Yeah. But the, well, but the, but, well, but also you could be a fan and you've been playing it on the phone and you want to get going. They're saying the best place to play is the Xbox One X. You can upgrade it with a Pro, which that's a that's not an upgrade that makes sense to me. Oh, they're selling an actual like bundle for Fortnite for thirty dollars. The deep freeze yeah. bundle. I thought the one of the last items on that list was cool. It was called it's called Bang and Beats. It's the Fortnite Boogie Bomb Bluetooth speaker. The, the, um, please tell me that lights up. I don't. That's what I can't tell. It looks like one a, of the things. Like, I was it, it, is, it looks like a disco ball um, grenade, basically. Yeah. Um, the, the the thing that it's only twenty bucks, mm. so it's not that bad. But it only it only gets four hours and a charge. Mm -hmm. Um. 
but it, it it's kind of like one of those to me the one of those fun things you could you could put in one of those like white elephant gift type things or whatnot. I don't know. I, I wish it was plush. Like I wish it was like a plush thing that you could throw around, but was also in the shape of the grenade. Hmm. So I have um I have a couple of things I want to get to before we get out of here. Uh, while you tempt me with Fortnite gifts. I, I realize I haven't played it in several months. And it's kind of like I'm afraid to. Also, I'm too yeah, busy. Yeah, I'm afraid to get back into it because I, I put it down for a while and now I'm afraid that if I pick it back up. Yeah, I mean, well, we were already getting murdered when we were we were on it. Uh, so <laughs> it's just the worst. Just everybody's got cool stuff that we can't access now. <laughs> uh, like, look, there's a guy dressed as a bunny. I don't know why that is. Um, but uh, this one... <laughs> uh this, this this is a cool one you know of course everything if you're playing pokemon you know there's a lot of um stuff going on with uh the hello pikachu hello eevee um is now the other popular pokemon i guess uh so along with this they apparently uh it's, this seems like a no-brainer uh the the eevee is uh a uh, part of the first ever pokemon tamagotchi it is the the little you know the little LCD you know thing, uh, but it's Pokemon themed. So um, that is available. It is and it's a crossover we always wanted, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh it's not unlike 1998's Pocket Pikachu because I guess that they had done their own at the time too. It's officially from Tamagotchi. Um, it lets you raise and care for an Eevee as it evolves into one of its eight evolutions. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Eight. What do we have? Like five on Pokemon Go, don't we? Probably. Yeah, I'm trying to think of all of them. That seems right. That sounds um, about right. I mean, now, is each is each device pre-programmed and will only ever evolve into one and you have to keep buying them until you can evolve into, <laughs> di- or is it random? I don't know. I don't know what, what the, ba- the bearing is. Do I have to walk so much and name it, name it something? Uh, these are going to go for, uh, it, it's 2,300 yen, which is around uh, $20 American uh, for this. And it's of course not slated for release until January 26th over there in Japan, I guess. So um, hopefully it gets here as well because I, I feel like I feel like some <laughs> friends would be playing with that. If you hit an evolution that you didn't want, do you, you starve it until you get started? You just replace the batteries at that point, right? Because it, 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 doesn't it just yeah. start over? Like, yeah, just like like flip the battery and be like, "Oops!" Like, or it would, or it would start over like if you didn't feed it enough, or if you didn't let it sleep enough. Like there mm. were different ways to make it reset. Jeez, that's, that seems extreme. It's like I want to starve you because you you didn't become the thing I want. Like that's that's heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. Uh, Katie, I got a story for you. Okay. Um, there was an article on Motherboard, which is a Vice property. Um, <laughs> where, oh boy, I can't believe this one. Um, analyzing Lego porn. Hey, Lego porn is basically is is a pretty big thing, and there's a lot going on. I don't want to get too far into it. I mean. Is it? To, can I show the videos? Um, there is nudity, but it's Lego nudity. Uh, okay. You know, I watched the one that they embedded on the page, and it was just a lot of ordering um, for phone service and pizzas uh, because they were lonely. Uh, so this this is like a whole like this is like fan fictions for wrestling or something. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I didn't realize this was a whole thing. Katie, did you take a look at this article? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. of course you did. Of course I did. <laughs> it's, it's just it's interesting. It's like stop motion, and there's like <laughs> yeah. poses and stuff. Yeah, I mean the, the nudity is odd, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Minecraft. Yeah, <laughs> step above. My... Yeah, Minecraft it's... fanfic porn. <laughs> um, Chill, that seems like your world. I'll take over the Lego. There you go. Get the Minecraft porn. The web is full of brick on brick action, it says in this. Wait, oh wait, I got the visual up for you guys. There you go. I'm sorry for all the nudity on this uh episode OMG. here. OMG. But <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Some of these are kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are you what what's what's kicking for you there, Chilla? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, the did you see the comic? 
I didn't see the comic. Like I said, I most I mostly just saw the video um, that I'm going to throw up here. There's like a there's a photo album. Oh really? Did you see? There's the, the yeah. It's like the oh is this the big Lego porn album? Yes. Oh no. Nope, I can't show that one. Oh, I so can't close. show that. So close. That is. Oh no, I can't show these. That is. Like just the positions alone, I can't know. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Ooh. <laughs> I, the unnamed director added claymation boobs and a penis. <laughs> for yeah, extra yeah. Realism. Like so, okay, there's that one. Whoa. Um. Wow. <laughs> Wait, there's one with Ninja Turtles. Oh, I'm sorry. like Lego Ninja Turtles. Oh man. There's for everything, isn't there? Okay. So with that. I, I like Lego had a comment. Lego had a comment? Thanks. They reached out to them. Thanks for reaching out to us. We have nothing to contribute with this <laughs> with the, in this context as it is not related to us or our focus as a company in any way. But they responded. <sighs> like they took the time to respond to yeah. something like this, as ridiculous as this, right? I mean, I what kind of like interesting like Lego like I'm guessing they almost kind of had to because if they didn't, <laughs> if they didn't say we have, we don't condone it, like if they don't say they're against it or or they don't support it, then it could leave the question of do they support this? I mean, there's got to be a lot of interesting thing, unintended ways that Lego is used that Lego would rather not talk about, mm-hmm. right? Um, and this would be one of them. And I don't even know if I have the imagination for the other options. Uh, this is amazing. Like, if you watch, did you watch the little video? I watched the little video there. Yeah. Okay. The the mouths, like, it's obviously just like little pieces of yellow paper that they do different mouths, like open and close, and, mm-hmm. and different. It's it's like the time consuming, like little teeny tiny. <laughs> oh wait, I do have the video going now. Uh, yep. It's not too. I'm I'm about. What, well, that's I'm about a, almost that's, a minute. That's, in. that's I probably shouldn't show much more of that. That was pretty direct. Uh, <laughs> I love how they. I mean, we we know as a society where we've gone when when they in in the in the body of that in in the content of that message, they put in. They they start off like the last one of the last paragraphs with slash r slash Lego porn. Which means, hey, if you know what Reddit is, you know what this means, and here you can go here for more. Wait, so they like in in Lego statement they told you where to find more of this stuff? No, in that article. Oh, okay. Down towards the bottom. That's a deep dark hole I don't want to go down. Oh, but actually, it's a, that's a deep yellow brick hole I probably don't want to go down. It, it says R slash Lego porn features a few cross posts from R slash uh, BDSM with bricks, which are actually quote, <laughs> quite artful. And there's another crossover fandom for Harry Potter. Because, <laughs> of course. Because, of course, right? Well, I think we just found out how we're wasting the rest of our evening. Um, oh, that video is amazing. It's so bad. It's just like, it's it's hilarious. And, and it's it's just like stop motion with yeah, Legos, which yeah. there's, there's been like... There was no nudity in that one. It was just mashing of <laughs> Legos and directions and <laughs> things happening. And there was a horse at the end. It's okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. The horse comes in. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to fix your phone. Wait, there's nothing wrong with your phone. And then like stuff happens and then somebody brings a horse in. I was like, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there was a horse. Um, I, I am. I have to read an ad now. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Let's see how you connect this. Hey, ad. guys, if um, you are, are ready to uh, need some assistance with your um, Lego alt lego site um you can hit up our friend hit up our friend at alexander cars alexander cars uh dot com alex cars dot media he of course uh if you're putting together the puzzle <laughs> damn it <laughs> if you're putting together a puzzle of design and media from branding to print and digital products alex can do the logistics merchandise websites and even photo and video projects <laughs> it can help you with your videos uh it's- <laughs> Does he do stop motion? That seems, well, we'll find <laughs> out, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add that question to the chat. Yes, yes. Tag him in that one. Um, but <laughs> you can check out alexandercars.com and alexcars.media 
for uh, to get started with him, please somebody submit a project for this. Um, oh geez, I don't know what to do from that. Um, we have a lot going on here, guys. Uh, we of course have our friends at Pittsburgh Current will be here on uh Thursday morning. Uh, we had them last Wednesday because of the holiday. Uh, talking some uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. With uh, my friend Brian, our friend Brian Metzer. I'm lightheaded from laughing at this. And now Alex Carr has popped into the chat room. Oh, tell uh, me he didn't miss that all. Oh, boy. We have a I've job for you. I've been summoned. Oh, don't even. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Alex Carr. Just rewind it about 10 minutes. Um, oh, geez. What else is going on, guys? Uh, <laughs> I got to check my dog. Uh, no, go check out Pittsburgh Current. Go check out that. And, uh, of course, we'll probably also be lining up. It's, it's getting in the holiday season. Uh, mark your calendars for December. I think it's going to be the 16th. That doesn't seem right. The 18th. That is going to be our year end spectacular. I don't know that I'm going to try to fit in the 12 or so people we had on last year. <laughs> that was a hell of a feat. And I don't think I can do that again. Uh, but no, we're well, looking forward to that. This is where we do our predictions and everything. So I'll look out for that and, uh, it, let us know, uh, hit us up on, um, any of our social medias or any, our contacts. What do you want to see for um, those filler episodes in between on the holiday? Are there any, any uh, particular like gift, not gift guides, but uh, you know, deep dives you'd like to see uh, Chilla or Dutters do um, about technology or social media or something? Let us know, and uh, we can see about lining something up there uh, so you guys can. Our our not awesome cast list on the the breaks is I think yeah Christmas is on Tuesday. And New Year's Day is on, you know, something for you to listen to with your hangover off of New Year's or... We'll talk quietly very soon. <laughs> that'll, that'll be the ASMR edition of, of, of Awesome Cast. Perfect. <laughs> we'll start practicing now. Hello. Thank you for the Awesome Cast. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even keep that up. I have no. to get in the mode for it. Uh, but anyways, John Chichilla at Chilla on the Twitter. That's that's I'm reading show title options there. John I like Chilla. the last one, by the way. John Chichilla <laughs> is the Chilla on the Twitter. And John Chichilla on the Facebook. Katie Dutters, where are you online? I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> At Katie Dutters on the Twitter. Yeah, Kate Marie PGH on Instagram. I'm going to have to bring that up in post, probably. <laughs> I think that's a challenge for your show. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching the awesome cast. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you, chat room. <laughs> You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.